Hi, good day, everyone. This is our group presentation for subject Southeast ASEAN Affair ADS 560. Our topic is ASEAN Economic Community AEC. My group member, me, Petros Matthew, Muhammad Said Saleh, Elian Kuyut, Colin Enemy Burnett, and special honor to our lecturer, Dr. Asri Bin Saleh. The ASEAN Economic Community was realized on December 31st, 2015, to marking a milestone in the region's economic integration to offering opportunity of a huge market of 622 million people in ASEAN region. The three pillars of the ASEAN community, namely ASEAN political security community, ASEAN economic community, and ASEAN sociocultural community. ASEAN population is around 625 million with GDP USD 2,398 billion. To achieve the objective, ASEAN economic community has to translate and make more better investment climate in ASEAN and sector, especially in facilities, trade services, investment and other reforms necessary. Hello, Sasri and everyone. I am Yanon and I'm going to explain about issues involved in ASEAN economic community. ASEAN remains vulnerable to external shock, partly because it is one of the most open regions in the world. The external shocks affected the Asia country in terms of real oil price, trade, financial, and money. Unresolved territorial and ethnic conflicts within ASEAN and on its borderline remain serious threats to regional unity and harmony. An example of ethnic conflicts widely known is the Rohingya crisis in Myanmar. This crisis is a threat to peace and stability which could impact security and economic trends throughout ASEAN region. Excessive focus on intra-regional competition has impeached the ability to attain a truly borderless economic community. ASEAN's internal cohesion may also be affected by the leadership transition. Continuing internal problems in some newer members wasn't the conflict image between ASEAN's older and newer members. Inability of ASEAN countries to deal with climate change, energy security, and natural disaster cause adverse effects on economic activities. Besides that, increased global energy consumption without proper regulatory policies can compromise economic growth and energy security. The rise of China and India in the global economy has challenged ASEAN to enhance its centrality and competitiveness. The accretion of military power altered the balance of power within the region and between Asia and the West. Greetings Dr. Asri, I'm Colin Inim and I will be presenting on the parties involved in the realization of ASEAN Economic Community AEC. AEC consists of all the ASEAN member states with the goal of intra-regional trade that allows for free movements of goods, skilled labor, services, and capital. There are two primary blueprints that lay out the vision of AEC. The first is the AEC Blueprint 2015 and the second is the ongoing AEC Blueprint 2025. There are several AEC-related agreements that have been entered to reach their goals. These are the AEC-related programs to promote investment, AEC programs to enhance trade, AEC programs for food safety and security, and AEC programs for physical connectivity. The AEC 2015 Blueprint had achieved positive outcomes in the economy, investment, trade and the people. The ongoing AEC 2025 blueprint has introduced five main characteristics of ASEAN economic integration. Higher ambition is set to deepen the existing integration areas and incorporation of new focus areas. The AEC 2025 blueprint show good progress through consolidated strategic action plan CSAP as over 50% of the action line have been either fully or partially completed. Assalamualaikum, Dr. Asri, and hi everyone. My name is Muhammad Said Bin Saleh, and we're presenting 
recommendation by ASEAN Economic Community. Ten Nation, the ASEAN Comprehensive Investment Agreement in April 2012 consolidated probation the ASEAN Investment Guarantee Agreement. Also, laws of skill professional to facilitate investment and the free form of services. ASEAN countries to enhance the development of physical infrastructure. The ASEAN collaboration with the ASEAN Development Bank Startup Capital of US 485.2 million. This initiative also helped with the region competitiveness of the world. To address development gaps, ASEAN embarked on a program known as the Initiative of ASEAN Integration, where the more developed ASEAN members were expected to support less developed members. ASEAN single window will allow the ASEAN trading community to process the clearance of goods at the border to a one-time submission of data which will then allow quick processing and decision making. It works to save traders significant time and money. The conclusion is AEC will not be easy and will face many challenges and issues, especially when they require to change the domestic law or even the national constitution. But in hands connectivity and sectorial with improvement in regional frameworks, including sectorial policies, AEC can give hope to address Asian issues and become the strongest economics in the world.